Good morning guys, my name is Neil Curry, IFBB Pro in Classic Physique. Um, I'm the 2022 New York Pro Champion and soon to be Olympian in five weeks time. And I am absolutely honored, ecstatic. I could not be happier to announce that I'm officially a member of the hostile team. Now, <laughs> this is big as it gets guys. Like for the non bodybuilding fans that are watching this, this is professional footballer signing for Real Madrid. This is American college NBA making the draft. As a pro bodybuilder, there is not a bigger, better bodybuilding brand to be aligned with. Especially for me, because I feel like the hostile brand, the mentality, the vision, it fits perfectly with how I am as a person and as an athlete. So again, um, I also want to thank Fuad for this opportunity and I cannot wait to get started. What does this mean for you guys, me signing for Hostile? Well, you're going to get a real in-depth look into my life. You're going to see how I train, how I eat, my mindset, my mentality, the way I approach preps. You're going to get like exclusive content of the preps and the shows. Um, training footage, absolutely everything via YouTube. We're going to be putting four, five, six YouTube videos out a month on the channel. Um, so it's going to be great to get to know you guys, let you guys get to know me. Um, you can also, you're going to be able to access all my workouts on the app and you'll be able to get a discount code for the products, which is pretty cool. Um, now, so what's going to happen today? Um, this morning, I'm going to share with you my morning routine. Um, later on, we're going to hit chest. Um, so I'll be showing you how I train chest and the supplementation we use around that. And then tonight we're going to hit arms and I will again be sharing the supplementation and the arm workout, show you my gym, I'll show you my training partner, I'll show you the physique, I'll show you where we're at five weeks out from the Mr. Olympia in as much detail as possible. But we're going to break it down into like three videos. This morning is just a hello, a welcome, a thank you. Um, and I'm gonna share with you my morning routine. Um, so, the time is, it's 10 past three in the morning. You might be thinking, why the fuck is he up at 3 a.m.? So, for me, um, my output is sky high. I'm naturally, I'm a big guy, and I have to work very, very hard to make the classic weight limit. Um, you know, we started this prep around 270, uh, well, 268 actually, and, Today, we have achieved a new low, bomb, 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 two, two, six. We are on the decline, which is great. As you can see here, you know, this was 16 weeks out. We was at 241. I actually started prep 24 weeks out and it was 268. So I'm delighted to write in a new low. I'll text Ben, my coach, you, all got, you guys know Ben, um, but we are on 226 today which is banging. You know, we've not had a refeed, we've not had a cheat meal for 24 weeks. The diet's pretty much, I'll be sharing it with you, but <laughs> the diet's pretty much chicken, cod, rice, EAAs. You know, it's tough. We're suffering, we're in the hole, but I love this shit, so it's cool. Now, without further ado, I need to get cracking because I'm a bit of a stickler for routine uh, time and organization. 3 a.m. is one hour's cardio. Um, so we're going to get cracking with that. Um, in terms of supplementation pre-cardio, I just take one thing. Um, that is EAA. So what we have... Oh, let me show you my collection. You know, like sneakerheads or people who collect cars. Well, for bodybuilders, like, you got to be really proud of your supplement collection. So I'm going to reveal this to you. Get ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Oh, baby, look at that. What do you know? <laughs> Guys, this is absolutely everything a bodybuilder needs in terms of supplementation. Um, there is no expense spared with the formulas, the ingredients. I'll go into detail in each supplement as I use it, but to put it into basic text, this shit's fucking good. So today we've got Silo 9. Um, we have three flavors of Silo 9. Now, I can't actually decide which is my favorite. 
I like them all. So because I train like three, four times a day every day, I have the beauty of switching around. But I think we're going to go for the orange and pineapple. Okay, these are great. One gram of carbs. They have sodium in, so you get a little bit of a pump. Um, everything you would really want in a BCA. You know, you got magnesium, uh, you got potassium, sodium, um, and then obviously you've got the branch chain amino acids. These retail at thirty-two ninety-nine US dollars, which is actually really good value for money. And there's thirty servings in here. And I'm not just saying this, like, you'll get to know me, I'm an honest guy. If something's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. But this is banging. I've been using, obviously, other products previously. And this just, these are nice. I think this is my favourite, orange pineapple. So, anyway, I'm going to show you a little top tip, a little hack. This is how I prepare my EAAs. It's a little bit different than most people will do. So, firstly, we need 15 grams which is a rounded scoop, but I like the scales to tell me exactly how things are. Everything with me has to be perfect, guys. I cannot, I cannot miss a time, I cannot miss a rep, I cannot miss a gram. So that is 15 grams of Silo 9. Now, this is the magic trick. Oh, have you shown my trophy? Have you shown the trophy? Yeah. We keep the trophy on the kitchen table, guys, as a reminder that underdogs can become champions. This is how I make my uh, EAAs. You American guys may refer to this as Slurpee. I think it's Slurpee in America. Is it Slurpee? Yeah. So in England we call it Slush Puppy. Or is it Slush Pussy? Slush Puppy. <laughs> is it Slush Puppy? Slush Puppy. So basically, guys, what I do is... I cram my 15 grams of AA with ice and then water has to be heavy. Right, so then what we do is and if you've got if you have the uh, the beauty of having a ninja, there is actually a setting on here called crush. You need to hit that twice. One. That's enough. All you need to do is a little bit more water. Lid on. Give it a little shake. And you have a slipper. And for me, at 3 a.m. when I'm thirsty as hell. Mate, that's so good. I'll let you try it, but it's not happening. A few reasons I do this. One. I really like cold drinks in the morning. It's refreshing. And honestly, they taste that good. I've got an hour's cardio. If I mix that in cold water, I'll inject that after 10 minutes and I'll spend 15 minutes um, thirsty. So this is the only pre-morning supplementation I have pre-cardio. I'll show you what I have after cardio. Um, but as you get to know me, guys, I am a all-in type of guy. I leave my soul on every set. On ca this cardio, I'm gonna hit it hard for an hour. I'm not gonna mess about. I'm going. I've got goals. I believe in doing the most you physically can to have the best chance of achieving your goal. Not less is more and doing as little as you can and praying to God you achieve your goal. When I arrive on the Olympia stage, no matter the place in, I have to be able to look at myself in the mirror and say, I did everything as hard as I possibly could. And then the place in, I can't grumble because it is the very best I have. Um, so yeah, let's get it started. Let's get this day rocking, it's 3 a.m. Let's go. So we're gonna hit cardio, we'll come downstairs. Um, We've got some gut health stuff to do. Um, we have meal one, um, and then we'll have a little bit of talk about plans and, and what, what we're gonna be doing. So right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. So guys, we're on the bike. Now, just so you know like why I'd get up and do this at 3 a.m. Obviously, I run a coaching business. Um, I've got another three sessions to do. If I was to get up at 8 a.m. and start doing cardio, 
by the time I've done cardio, my first meal is 10 a.m. I'm training at 12. That's one hour till my next meal. It's never going to happen. So I get up early. I get ahead. I get nice and organized. And I can space everything out perfectly. Now, when I do cardio, the phone, airplane mode, that don't get looked at. Um, I'm actually a little bit weird. I usually do cardio in the dark. So I don't use music. I like to sit in the dark and think about, vision the stage, vision the condition I'm aiming for, and just grind it out as hard as I can. Um, we will turn the lights off because I want to make this video as real as possible. We're going to pump the resistance up to level seven. I'm going to try and do in an hour, 30 kilometers on level seven. That's what I aim for. And I just pound this bike as hard as I can now for an hour. Let's get to work. The waist trainer's on, the EAAs are here, and we are ready mm. to start this day the right way. That's 100% full whack, full intensity, full intent. Let's get this day going. We've got five weeks, and we're on the Olympia stage, man. No time to waste, let's go. carb since I oh don't know 3 p.m. yesterday so getting on this bike tanks on empty but I don't give a fuck to be honest it's just job gets done there's no feelings there's no emotion it's heavy it's hard my legs are fucking aching I did legs yesterday two hours cardio yesterday two leg sessions like yeah my legs fucking hurt yeah, I could turn the resistance down, I could go easier, but, you know, the mentality is, I want to get absolutely fucking peeled out of my brain, so, everything I do when I'm sat on a bike, doing a set, in my head I'm just thinking, empty the fucking tank, lad, empty the tank, go all out, what's Logan Franklin doing, what's Miracle Bear doing, what's that Dino dude in uh, Brazil doing, like, I'm hot on these guys' tails. I'm fucking chasing them. And if I want to beat them, I've got to work them. You know, so that's what's coming from my head. You know, that's why I don't listen to music. That's why I sit in the dark. I just think about these fuckers. And I chase them as hard as I can. 40 minutes done. I ain't slowed down yet. I'm not going to slow down. I'm not the fucking back out of this machine. Everything I got, and that's that. No messing about, bro. Absolutely no messing about in anything we do on this prep. Every second of every day is about improving the placing. It's about getting better, improving the shape. Working as hard as we fucking can. We do more, never less. Always more, always hard as we can. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Good. Now leave me alone so I can fucking pump. Come on, motherfucker. People might think this is like over-exaggerating for cardio, but this is how I do cardio. I attack it. Because if you put it on a low resistance, I want, it's too heavy to do it low, but if you was to go slow, the output, I do two hours cardio a day. I'm doing a 24 week prep. It was 24 times seven. 156 or something like that. So 156 cardio sessions. Like 156 opportunities only to do cardio. Like I gotta make sure every 156 cardio is done best of my ability, hard as I can. Because imagine if you come seventh and you took cardio easy, you know, you're like, 
you'd never fucking forgive yourself. So, I'm only going to 56 cardios in this prep, man. That's the right maths. Two a day for 24 weeks. I'm not sure. But, yeah, man. Fucking 90 minutes to go. We're tracking ahead. I want 30 kilometers in an hour on level seven. We're on 20 kilometers, 40 minutes in. I'm probably going to hit 40 kilometers, which is probably going to be a PB. But I do try and turn the resistance up and go harder every day because my body's stubborn. I'm trying to lose weight here. I've got to be 215 pounds. My body, my body likes being 250 pounds, bro. Not 215. I have to fucking work and suffer to get there. So, yeah, it's 4 a.m. But, well, it's 10 to 4, but, yeah. Who cares? Come on. Anyway, i got to stop talking now, bro. 18 minutes. Let's catch up after you. The goal was 30 kilometers. I got a bit carried away, mate. We've just gone over an hour, but... That is cardio done. That's an hour flower, bro. That's how I get down twice a day. Um, oh, I should get that light on. So, yeah, fuck it. Oh, oh, that is, oh. That's cardio done. Oh, let's get his weight straight now. So yeah, good cardio session, bro. Really good. Um, oh, EA's drank. We've got the 30 kilometers done. Mm. Um, like I said before, 30 kilometers, 60 minutes, full belt. We said level seven, but I cranked it up to level eight today. Fuck it. Um, so, obviously, I'm a bit sweaty, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nip upstairs now, get a quick shower, bro. And meet you in the kitchen. We've got gut health drink. Uh, we'll prepare meal one. We'll just have a little bit of chat. But now, I'm really happy with that. Guys, it is now so four. That's uh that's two boxes ticked. So now we've got gut health drink, box three, we've got uh, meal one, we've got meal two, and then we start setting up for chest at 12 where we've got uh, a pre set up drink, we've got an intra set up drink, we've got a post set up drink, and obviously we've got the session box ticked. Then we're going to come back home. Oh, we've got a bit of posing to do as well. Then we're going to come back home and we have um, a post workout meal, a pre workout meal, and then again we have a there's, there's no pre, but then there's an intra and a post supplementation with an arm workout, box is ticked. Then we've got one more meal, one cardio some whey iso hd before bed and that will be the day done but you know it's 4am we've got a good chunk done um you know i'm gonna get a quick shower i'm in the kitchen and uh you know we'll, we'll, like i said earlier we spend every second of every day trying to get ready for this olympia so it's a great start to the day couldn't be happier with that cardio um you know so yeah i'm in the kitchen bro right guys so Great start to the day. It's 5 a.m. Uh, we are on track. Next thing I do in the morning is health and well-being. So I do a magic Ben Chow digestion drink, which I'll share with you now. And then we have quite an extensive health supplementation protocol. Um, obviously looking at longevity, looking at health, looking at digestive health, um, is so important and overlooked by many in bodybuilding but it's something we take very seriously um, and anyone who knows Ben Chow uh, he's very detailed with his health approach to the side of bodybuilding so we're going to do that now I prepared some stuff last night um, so it's a little bit quicker um, so what we have is apple cider vinegar aloe vera half a lemon and then I made this I make it the night before to be honest so it's easier let me show you so we have, um, <clears throat> so shake a cup, start off with 20 ounce of water. Um, apple cider vinegar, two caps. And then we do uh, 
two floric ounces of aloe vera gel. It's got to be exact, guys. What's the aloe vera for? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's for digestion, mate. It's just pure digestion. It's like a digestive aid. Um, you know, there's, I think the combination of apple cider vinegar, aloe, aloe vera gel and lemon all working together significantly help digestion. And to be honest, Ben gave me this protocol. I never really asked him. I just took it and it worked. And, you know, my waist has significantly got smaller and my digestion has improved. But I definitely know aloe vera gel, lemon, apple cider vinegar, it's just a digestive aid. And then in here, we have 10 grams of facilium husk, which is fiber, 10 grams of greens, 15 grams of glutamine, okay? Which again, is just gonna help with digestion. So you'll notice we're doing this before any meals go in. All I've had so far is silo 9 EAAs. So this is basically priming the body for the copious amounts of protein we're gonna eat today and the minimal amount of carbohydrates as we descend for the classic limit. Um, you'll see today my food's pretty fucking low at the minute. Um, you know, that cardio was a, uh, you know, I never like to say anything's hard because I like to just do it, but you know, I was running on empty in that cardio, bro. Like you saw my food, obviously you stayed here last night. You saw my food. It's, it's 50 gram where I say it last night. It was 200 gram of uh, cod and 200 gram of chicken. So. You know, that's what fueled that cardio. We're running on empty. Um, so yeah, so this is just gonna prime us for the day. So like I said, we've got psyllium husk, we've got greens powder, we've got glutamine, apple cider vinegar, aloe vera, lemon, 20 ounce of water. Um, again, ninja. And um, obviously I'm not gonna lie guys. Oh shit, this tastes like fucking shit <laughs> oh no i've got it everywhere my missus goes nuts she comes downstairs in the morning neil why is the green stuff all over the pub neil uh. so i have to make sure we tidy up before we done but this is a greens drink now in here is my am supplement things i get everything ready the night before um but we have everything in here from Oh, it's extensive. I'll go through this in another video, but this is my AM supplements. Um, and basically, nut ram. Mm. I fucking horrible mm. this. Mm. Um, but like, this drink doesn't taste great, right? But I find it's worth it because the the benefits it gives you throughout the day for digestion and going to the toilet and keeping everything regular, it's worth drinking something for 30 seconds that doesn't taste amazing. But it's kind of just fucking, get it down lad, get it down. I don't normally, oh, I've got it down my t-shirt. Oh. Nightmare, I fucked it. It's my favorite one as well. Ah. It's in, thank God. I ain't got to drink that shit till tomorrow. That's done. Um, yeah, it just tastes gross. Not that I'm really bothered, but yeah, it's not the best. But um, give it a try, guys. If you have any issues with digestion, trap gas, bloating, I swear by it, man. This concoction, really really helps um so that's that i'm gonna prepare meal one now guys um right so i'm a bit ocd guys i couldn't be filming in a t-shirt with the digestive drink on it so anyway we can plug an item here another tea teas are available on the app or on the website i tell you this is a 3xl these teas are nice like they're like a nice this is a 3xl you know it's they fit nice on the arms, but they're not too tight. Very complimentary. Um, but yeah, I'm texting Ben. He's online. So, hey bro, 
or 226 on her. Two, 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 six this morning. I always, I take some of the morning my weight and I've, it's like, it's been going like 16 weeks now. And I think, well, oh, maybe he'll text back and say, oh, hey bro, let's do a high day today. But dig deeper, bro. Keep going, bro. Keep getting more shredded, bro. So, uh, but nah, I love it. Um, obviously you guys know Ben. Like Ben, honestly, has been so good with me. Is uh communication, his knowledge is absolutely brilliant. Like I'm in the best shape I've been in life to date, kind of five weeks out, I think. Um, his food choices are great, digestion's great, performance is great. Um, he's, a, he's an excellent coach. Um, so yeah, hopefully, like last night I texted him, 229 bedtime weight. He replied, damn, that's a beautiful sight, bro. He put new low looking like tomorrow, then we can really start to play with your look and fullness. It's actually the first time he said that. So it's been, we've been deep diving, deep diving, deep diving, deep diving since we started. And now we're getting to a point where we're actually in striking distance from the weight limit. Um, I'll show you the physique later. Um, but I think his goal is very much to deep dive, achieve the weight limit for classic or within striking distance and then start focusing on the look. Um, but like I say, Ben is a top guy, top coach. I'm, uh, I, I absolutely love working with him, to be honest. Anyway, so we're gonna prepare meal one now. So I've texted Ben, he's got the weight. If there's any changes, he'll let me know. But as I'm aware, we're on a double day setup today, four sessions. We've got the food I need. Everything's in the fridge, we're super organized. And meal one is 200 grams of chicken. So it's not gonna to be too much fun, but let's get that protein in, baby. You know, and then we've got um, meal two is 110 gram of cooked rice, which is about this much, with uh, 220 gram cod pre-workout. And then we have some more hostile supplements pre intra post which i'll share with you later on in the next video um, but for now let's get the cook on let's get meal one prepared and yeah let's start eating because i am freaking hungry to yeah man she bust my balls bro like we are very tidy in the house but you know because i get up before her it's not very nice for her if she comes downstairs and the house is a tip so i try and just tidy up as i go along um You'll get to see my missus on these videos. She's a fuck, she's, she's cool as fuck. She doesn't do bodybuilding. She's, uh, she's very, very supportive. She's my number one fan and uh, we're a team. So uh, you won't see her this morning because she's snoozing, um, but I will introduce to her at some point along these videos. Um, and yeah, so listen, the first meal is chicken. 200 gram cooked weight. Um, what I genuinely do, guys, is I just cook the full 400 gram pack, uh, weigh it out after cooked weight. Team and lean on the dogs. I've got three dogs, Tokyo, Rodney, and Hector. Which dog's the favourite? Tokyo. Because Hector and Rodney are actually... Well, they are dogs. We've been together four years, but um, Hector and Rodney were Becky's dogs. Tokyo is my dog. I named her Tokyo. If anyone's ever watched Money Heist, you know that fit bird? There's a bird in Money Heist called Tokyo. Proper fit. And I were like, I got a dog and I was like, I'm calling her Tokyo after that girl in Money Heist. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the uh, reason my dog's called Tokyo after the girl in Money Heist. This is 2%. This is the, like, my plan is chicken. But um, I like to get turkey breast, 2% fat. I like mince because I think it's easier to digest. You don't have to sit there chewing it for hours. Super lean. Uh, this is a 500, is it 500 gram? It's a 500 gram pack, so there'll be quite a bit spare for the dogs. Or oh, if you want some chicken, bro, you can have some. My videographer, you'll meet him as well, Cooper. Cooper is also classic. Um, you know, Cooper's a natural classic athlete. Uh, you'll get to see him as we go. We're going to Vegas, guys. We're going to be filming every single day in the lead up to Vegas. We're going to be doing a daily vlog right from the airport. 
uh, traveling every single day, meeting Ben, training, check-ins, the show, the tan, everything. We're gonna vlog the whole thing every day. So there's loads coming up. I'm no chef, guys. I'm pretty much one of them guys. I don't use flavorings. I wanna get as lean as possible, so I eat my food as lean as possible. Now, with this meal, we have two grams of salt and the plan says 50 gram greens or salad so we'll add that in as well this is my bowl in off season it used to like flow over now it's like it sits pretty shallow in it yeah but then i have to get a bigger bowl when i start off season <laughs> i'm a creature of habit bro <laughs> I used to do everything uncooked weight. Since training, since coaching with Ben, it's cooked weight. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, but like I say, any leftovers, my missus eats them, um, the dogs eat them. Um, today you're gonna have some. Food never gets wasted, obviously. Just gotta make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Um, I think it's just like, it's more accurate as long as you cook it the same way every time. And it's like, it's actual weight of food. You're removing the water. So I guess in terms of your protein content, um, I think also it's a bit of an American thing. I think a lot of Americans talk cooked weight. Like my rice is cooked weight as well. A lot of English coaches t talk uncooked weight. But to be honest, I actually prefer cooked weight because I do find it's easier to prepare if you're doing a few meals back to back and you're pairing a few meals and like everything mate once you keep doing it it just becomes your new normal so for me like i just talk cooked weight now um so we have some greens so 50 gram greens i like salad not a lot if you eat too much salad guys that's 52. it says 50 on the plan so we eat 50. If you eat too much greens, it can back you up. Like, we want to keep that waist flat. So, what we don't want to be doing is unnecessarily... Because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I fill up on greens. But if you have this big bowl full of greens, yeah, there's not a lot of calories in it, but there's a lot of volume going in your stomach, and we want to keep that waist small at all times. So 50, you know, it's not a lot, but it does beef up the meal a little bit. You know, I'm not really interested in taste. I'm not interested in carbs. I'm interested in results, man. Like, Ben gives me carbs, I eat carbs. He gives me salad and chicken, I eat salad and chicken. I'm all about results. Food is fuel. I don't really have an emotional attachment to food. Um, I'm literally eating what's gonna place me best at the Olympia. Fuck's sake, there you go, 200 gram. Oh, so this is where I eat my meals. Direct view of the trophy. See if Ben's text back. You know, he's typing, it's pretty cool. Got a little bit of recovery time. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of posing practice. Um, and then, at around 10, we start getting ready for session one of weights, which is chest. We're going to film that today. Um, um, and then, uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of downtime after this meal, which is nice, which is why I like to get up early. You know, and you don't have to rush. You know, if I were getting up at eight, nine o'clock, finishing cardio at 10, by the time I sat down to eat meal one, I'd be cramming meal two in. And that's when you get digestive issues you want to space these meals out let these meals fully digest before the next one for optimum performance um yeah so what's coming up for us now we've got five weeks fly to vegas on um the fifth um everything is arranged we've got the apartment on the strip we're near ben as well so we can call and see him anytime we'll be training at the dragon's lair I'm buzzing to train at the dragon's lair I'm going to mega. Um, staying out there right up until the show, obviously. Um, 
you know, the last couple of weeks aren't so much fun because we're going to be really digging into that weight limit. Once we achieve it, we'll start playing with it a little bit and improving the look. I think the goal is to pretty much make weight, which is 215 pounds, and then kind of fill back up and go back to 215. Fill back up, go back to 215. And every time we arrive at 215, having a better look. But um, in terms of Olympia, right, it's my first Olympia. Um, I've got big goals. I want to break that top 10. And I want to get in that first call out top 10. And I want to start working and work my way up that top 10. As far up the line as possible. I'm not scared to share my goals. I am not going to Vegas to make up numbers. I've worked my whole life for this opportunity and I am gonna seize it. Now, I wanna get in that first call out and then I know I'm comparable to a lot of the guys. If I can get in that first call out, I know I can, I can compete with these guys, I can work and hopefully move up that line and get as high as I can. But my goal for this Olympia, I'm saying it, I wanna be in the top 10 and then I want to be striking forward, moving up the line into that top five. That's kind of going to be it for today, guys. I literally just wanted to say hello, introduce myself, share a little bit of my morning routine. This video, it was always going to be a quick video. Just a little, a little introduction, a little hello, a little thank you to the hostile team. And... Uh, Anything else I need to add? No, I think I think you covered it, mate. Are we all good? Am I rambling a bit now? Yeah, I think yeah. you need to get the meal down, bro. Mate, I'm, to be honest, to be honest, mate, I'm a bit light-headed because we went in on that cardio. Again, it's no carbs. I ain't carbs since, I don't know, three o'clock yesterday. I've got a bit of prep brain going on. But, um, you know, we've got 30 grams of carbs from rice in the next meal pre-workout, so we're back to life then. But I will see you guys at the gym. Yeah, let's do this. Peace out.